Hello. <coughs> Hello. <coughs> Hello. Oh god. It feels it feels gross breaking that up. Uh we're back with another Eddie Zent. Uh, huh. So don't want to talk about Epic Seven because I don't want to talk about Epic Seven. Uh anybody out there playing Armored Core? How is it? Is it fun? Is it difficult? I, I literally know nothing about it. I just know that it's a FromSoft game, which makes it a good game. <clears throat> but uh, I am curious what you guys are thinking about it. Let's go ahead and do Celine and... Uh... I mean, I can, I can do Knackle. Yeah, why not? Um, yeah. How's it treating you guys? There's Rowana. <clears throat> that is to be expected. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. So we can try to play this in a way where... Rowana becomes our ban? Who knows? <clears throat> okay. Um, so... We can do something like <laughs> Severe Dicelene and let's do Strays. Because <clears throat> they're kind of pinholing themselves, I guess you could say. Like, unless my landy just absolutely goes ham. Like, I don't... I don't think I care. Like, okay. So, worst case scenario is that this <clears throat> this gets my landy to push everybody up, but I should still be okay. It's no crits on anybody, no counters on anybody. That is actually kind of great. Uh you love to see the RNG come in, come in clutch. Uh, so this should kill <clears throat> Dark Corvus. <clears throat> I don't know why I have a frog in my throat. It did not kill the Dark Corvus, but it came damn close. Okay, so we've lost. So that was fun and interesting. Because now my Landy is just gonna lose her absolute mind. Um, but that's also kind of like fine because it pushed it pushed the Dark Corvus up above my. <laughs> My landy. L landy. Landy, can you... Landy, you really need to calm down. <clears throat> I wish that killed. Um, because that would have just been, you know, perfect. But... Let's go ahead into Ran. This should hopefully kill him. Uh, 
Um... Let's do this. Because they can extinct someone here. Okay, they're going to extinct strays. That is fine though. I will go ahead and go into you. Um, we have to go back into you. Uh, I will go ahead and eat the LRK. Because right now, no matter what, my Selene will outspeed the Dark Corvus. And I will get the, um, the buff back up. Sure thing. That works for me. Um, so now, while there is some passive healing, I can also kind of stun lock the, the Dark Corvus into submission. I can also just burst him down, because they don't have any damage mitigation anymore. So they're just gonna go into me for, for more HP. Um, but again, I think that is perfectly fine. So that'll push him up. So again, he can kill someone. He can kill Landy, but he can never, he can never kill Celine, which is the, which is the main issue here. Like, he will never be able to kill Celine. Like, even if he landed that, uh, that provoke, it wouldn't have mattered. Because I can just infinitely go into him. So, I don't know... <clears throat> Dark Corvus was the play so early, because that does allow me to kind of play around him by picking a bunch of, you know, big damage dealers. Strays almost killed. Why am I so, I'm so gassy. Um, the Strays almost killed. It was so close. That would have turned this game from a, from a nine minute game into a one minute game. But, uh, yeah, I just pick a lot of DPS units into the, into the, uh, into the Dark Corvus. Cause he just wants units that don't do a lot of damage. Uh, that's when you should draft him. But, uh, nice try. Uh, Dark Corvus can work in some scenarios. I don't think that one was it. But it was a fun, it was a fun game. It was a, a, a good attempt. No negativity, no negativity in this in this world, in this video specifically. Um, trying my best to be more, I don't know, less doom and gloom. But it's hard. I I grew up with. You guys are gonna get the backstory. You're gonna get Idiot's backstory. Um, 
I grew up as the youngest of four boys. Um, and we all, including my parents, have a very dark, <laughs> self-deprecating humor. So I was kind of, I was molded by it. I grew in it. You, you merely taste the darkness. This is like a mix of Bane and Sean Connery. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was, uh, I had a twisted sense of humor growing up. Uh, just being bombarded from it, uh, all sides. I love when people have, this is unrelated, I love when people have a unit as their, um, as their profile picture and ban that unit. <laughs> I, I adore when people are like, yeah, I love this unit, but I, I, I do not want to play against her. <laughs> um, uh, sure, we can go for... Yoha and Zahak. Like, if they're trying to do a Zeo thing, that's fine. They are trying to do a Zeo thing, if you can believe it. Uh, so they're picking Book Bryceria, or they're picking our well, that is. Sure. That is fine. Uh. So Karina. And. I mean, Stene's pretty alright here. Yeah, we could do. We could do Stene. Elfelt. Sure, you do love to see the Elfelt. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think we just go Sage Ball. And then we ban out the... Yeah, we ban out the defense breaker. Okay, so uh, our main course of victory here is um, is Stene. Oh, their entire team is very slow, so they have to push back the hawk here. But the fun part is, if they go into Zahak here, Karina gets pushed up. Okay, they're gonna do it. Like, this will push their entire team up as well, but Karina... Karina doesn't care. They're gonna go into Yoha. Sure. They don't have Soul Burn for this, so they can try to go into Yoha, but if Yoha lives, Sid basically just killed himself. They're gonna go into into Yoha. That's not gonna kill. In fact, that just pushed her up. Uh, so let's go ahead and punch this baby boy. If a defense breaks, it kills. Sid's dead as well. And I think that's game. Yeah. Okay. We made the good call. Getting rid of getting rid of Cleve's defense break can cause a lot of issues. Also, their team was immensely slow without Elfelt. Cause they were all like 250-ish speed, roughly. Uh yeah, sure. I'll, I will take that. The silence, the no silence on the um Zahok didn't matter. It didn't end up mattering, but it is funny to see uh, RNG still weasel its way into every game. <laughs> uh, but not being silenced had no bearing on that game whatsoever. If it didn't push back, that would be 
uh, if it didn't push back and I didn't get silenced, that would be a different story. That would be pure RNG. Um, but for this one, I think it was more. Uh, I picked the right units for the for the fight. Um, this person, I know their name. I don't remember if I think we have roughly an even match against each other. Ooh, they got a Cades. Lucky them. I tried, I tried for a Cades. I did like. I have no mystics because if you can believe it, Landy drained me completely of all of my mystics, um, and several tens of dollars. Uh, but I tried for Acades. I had like twenty-five summits stored up. Who am I first picking? Oh God, uh, Knackle. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I tried for her. I did not get her. And now that ML shoe has been shown, I cannot warrant spending any more <laughs> mystics on Acades. So I'm like twenty summons away on the ML four pity. So I could theoretically get her, but I don't know that that's worth it. Um, so I'm not going to. Um, I'm just going to let that sit there until we get another ML unit and I have, you know, enough mystics to warrant it. So, hey, we're facing LRK and Hand Guide, which is fine. They could do something like Rimuru, because I do have just so many buffs on my team. Uh, my entire team will start with two buffs each. LHC is okay. As long as we don't see Rwana... I think I can do... I think I can do Arya. Honestly. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah, this is a... This is an Arya game. Let's go for... Uh... Arya and Architect Leica. No Bryceria, or Bryceria. Okay, we got we got exactly the team we wanted. Perfect. So, what this all means is that I can reset the hand guy, attempt, quote unquote, to reset the hand guy. Um, because then that will mean that LRK's S3 will be going into skill nulls, so he won't break anybody out of stealth. Karina will have to go into Aria. LHC will have to go into Aria. Um, yeah. My whole... A little bit of lag there, because I'm farming. This will depend on if I can do that, and I can. So let's go ahead and... Reset you, hopefully. Okay. Um, we can also stun the, yeah, we can stun the you. He should break it off of, like, Flitica. Okay. Okay, that's actually fine. Um, the Aria is still going before the LHC, so that's fine.
So if this crits the Landy, we might be in a little bit of trouble because that will break her out of stealth. If it does not crit the Landy, I think Landy stays in stealth. She did stay in stealth, so we are fine because they have to go into Aria again. They got a dual attack. Again, that doesn't really matter. Um, Prox Lionheart again. But this should hopefully, you know, get rid of some of the buffs a little bit. Push some people back, maybe. Okay, it gives her a, a uh, defense buff, but that is to be expected. They still can only go into Aria, though. So if they S3, it won't really do anything at all. So they are going to go into Aria because they have to. Uh, no dice. Um, let us go ahead and try to blind you. Nope. Defense break also works. Let's see if I can strip some buffs. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Get rid of you because you are a problem. And hand guy still has to go into Aria. And that's game. All right. Um, after a very pitiful showing this morning, because RNG just decided to kick me in the face, I have followed it up with kicking RNG in the face. Um, good fight. Uh, Aria is just, I will always attempt to bring Aria into LHC, because usually the way the battle, if I, like... I've had some where I haven't had Flitica. Flitica is a great initiator for Arya because it pushes her up. Because Arya is not exactly a speed demon. Um, but Arya into LHC is fine. Especially coupled with Flitica, she is immaculate. Um, just because even if LHC goes immediately after someone procs Arya, everyone has skill null except for Arya, who's not going to be taking a lot of damage anyway. So everyone stays in stealth. And all you do is really proc... All you do is just proc Aria again. That's all you do. Um, so I'm I'm really liking Aria into the into the meta because she can... With the, so a lot of people are like, oh, you should run her on Bastion so she doesn't get stripped, she doesn't get R-Weld, etc., etc. The amount of value that I get from Scroll of Shadows randomly defense-breaking people and randomly silencing, randomly blinding, getting that extra bit of damage is so much more beneficial to me than occasionally being screwed over um, by an Arwell. Um, and at this point, I have also learned to pick Arwell on my side if I plan to go for Arya. Um, I have no idea of if I'm saying the correct names anymore. I've lost all track. When I'm talking, I don't actually, like hear myself speak so like there was a video i think it came up yesterday or something where i called landy aiden because aiden was on someone's side and i just called landy aiden because i was thinking about landy but i saw aiden so my brain said aiden but i didn't register that i didn't say landy so i just kept talking um it's one of those things where your brain moves faster than your uh, your lips can handle. Uh, or vice versa. Wink, wink, ladies. I'm not single. Um, but yeah, Arya, great unit. I'm, I'm really enjoying Arya, especially into these LHC pickers. Um, because, if she, one, if she defense breaks them, that's a lot of damage being lost. Um, two, her S2, if they're not built... Effect res can just strip the uh, the buffs altogether, which is great. Um, but yeah, I mean that was that was some good fights. I'm happy with that. I will end it here, and now I won't have to play anything tomorrow. Um, hopefully, maybe we'll see. I don't know because I do have to make another RT appetizer for the day after tomorrow. It's it's a constant thank you, constant stream of content how are you ladies doing four failures you guys suck is this good 
Uh, speed. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, go ahead, hit the like and the subscribe button. Let's keep chugging ahead. Moving forward, past a thousand subscribers. I mean, we already have more than a thousand subscribers at this point, but like, let's keep going. Let's get to 38 billion. It's a little hyperbolous, but that's fine. If you did not like the video, then you have no appreciation for Arya's kit, what she does. You can have appreciation for the large deposits of fat sitting on her chest. But her kit is actually very interesting. I do like her kit a lot. Um, and then if you felt incredibly ambivalent about the entire thing, um, don't think about Breast's large deposits of fat. Oh, hey, the boss got defeated. That's good.